Hello YouTube, welcome to my complete control tutorial number 49. Today we will be showing you how to split the keyboard into zones so that you can have one plugin on one zone and another plugin on another zone. So first of all you need to open up the um, control editor. Um, and here we'll create a new template and we're going to call this the name of the track which is Dual. Um, and then what we're going to do is go to the Assign tab um, and then down here we're going to click Add. So that's, as you can see, split the keyboard into two zones. You can see where you are using the tran transpose there and already you can see the keyboard is split. Um, what we're going to do next is I'm going to click on the blue zone um, I'm going to have that set to um, let's have it set to a yellow or warm yellow as I would say and I'm going to have this set to um, let's have a look, green mint as i would say right so then we're going to go into logic we're going to open a project notice that the instrument is set to complete control Um, and I'm going to pick a plugin. So I want to have a nice cello. Right. Now if I go back to here, I want my cello on the left hand side in the um, yellow section. And down here we have key zones. So I'm going to just select them and copy them and the first thing I'm going to do is click on the settings tab here and complete control and I'm going to go to instrument and this key range here needs to be set to the same as that so C2 to D sharp 3 so I want that on C2 D sharp 3, D sharp 3. And then also in here, I'm going to paste the settings into there. Um, and that's done. So now I need to select a second track. Right, so we'll go and add a new track. Click. And we go back here and we click on the, the green zone, the right hand side. Copy this key zone to clipboard and paste it into here. And then we pick an effect, a plugin. Um, I'll look at the retro machines, um, orchestra, maybe. Should do and then we go to the plugin we we'll click on this little plus sign here and then we go to this little cog here and again we put in the um the key zone there so it's e3 to g8 so E3 to G8. I can close that down. Now that's created. Um, what I like to do is call this cello. 
and this uh, synth. Um, and that also, it's, it's handy just to colour code them as well. So I've got green on the right and yellow on the left. So right click, um, assign colour, green on the right, and yellow on the left. And then what we need to do now is uh, create a stack track. So highlight both the tracks, right click, create track stack even, not stack track. Click that, strumming stack, click create. And then that will merge them into one track. And you can see the keyboard's lit up in the correct colours. We should have cellos on the left and synth strings on the right. Um, and that, that's pretty much it. Another thing you can do if you want is to transpose the um, each section. So if we click on cellos, um, click here and transpose down um, if you require that. Um, and that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please like and please subscribe.